Hi, this is a walkthrough of Chuck Designer, the combination of the musical programming language Chuck and the visual programming language Touch Designer. On the left, we have some code samples of Chuck. These came from the examples. If you download Chuck on your computer and go to File, Open Examples, you'll see these uh, similar examples. SDK is for the Synthesis Toolkit, so let's listen to the mandolin. Over here, we have these less than signs and closed by the uh, greater than signs with a semicolon, and that's printing in Chuck. And so we can see that in the Touch Designer text console over there on the left. And I'll pick another example, and I'll hit Add Chuck Code. And I can play multiple Chuck examples at the same time. So now I'll go to the Shake Cycle example, and I'll hit Add Chuck Code. So now we're layering multiple uh, multiple Chuck shreds at the same time. A shred is the funny name for a thread in Chuck. We can also process audio. So if I go to the Chuck Designer ping pong delay, this is an example of ping pong delay code. And over here we have the, the left channel delay going to the right channel delay and the right channel de delay going to the left channel delay. And so this is a, a very interesting way of making ping pong in Chuck. It's rather simple compared to the alternatives. And I will hit add Chuck code. And I can also change the decay. So this is making it decay more quickly. And then I can also increase, or I'll increase the delay time and bring up the, the decay again. and make it lower. So that's fun. And uh, these, these global parameters here are going to global float. And that's what makes it possible to change uh, something that's declared as a global float parameter here uh, via Touch Designer. So this could be any kind of user interface that you build in Touch Designer, or it could be some uh, kind of generative thing determined by chops and those can control these uh, parameters. Now let's go to the uh, global float random out example. And so now the important thing here is that Chuck can actually uh, make its own calculations and we can receive that information in Touch Designer. So in this case, we have a random float out that we want to receive. So Chuck is going to be making its internal decisions about variables and what the values are. And so this one is called random float and it's going to play a sign tone. And so I'm just gonna lower the volume and just play this the sign tone. So I'm, now I'm just muting it with the audio device out. But uh, underneath it's, it's calculating this random float and updating it every 10 milliseconds, which is less than uh, 60 frames per second, or it's greater than 60 frames per second. The interval of, of time is less than the 60th of a second. So now we can go to the inner workings of the project. We can actually see that random float is being received by the Chuck listener chop. Uh, and uh, we can declare any number of variables here and the Chuck listener is going to listen or kind of receive them as a callback uh, inside uh, Chuck, inside this, this is a, this is a Chuck audio uh, plugin. This is a Chuck Listener plugin. So in the future, it's going to have uh, Chuck Designer is going to support more variable types, not just floats. So we're going to have uh, integers and strings and arrays all shared between the Chuck Audio and Touch Designer uh, interface. So now I can show some more examples. So I'm going to hit reset on that. So this is just the inner working of the project. Um, I want to show a synchronized audio example. So in Chuck, there's this uh, very clever line that is commonly used, which is T minus now modulus T chucking to now. So T is the uh, a duration. So you could think that this might be the amount of time in a measure of, of music. And over here, we are advancing time by just a, a, a kind of a nice fraction of that duration. And what the code at the top does is, is it's going to synchronize multiple shreds at once. So when I hit add Chuck code, if I add subsequent Chuck codes, I don't have to time my adding of that Chuck code uh, so precisely because uh, Chuck is going to take care of it um, for us. So for instance, in, in Touch Designer, we have, we have the beat. 
uh, and we, we have all these interesting things and we can use that to time uh, how we add Chuck code. But if you want Chuck to just do it itself, then you might want to use this clever bit of code. And so we're going to add multiple shreds to the same example. So here we have this parameter for the the octave and it's just it's merging these texts together to come up with our code. So here we have our octave and I'm going to uh, run the code with octave being set to zero and then I'm going to run it with octave two and then octave three and so we're going to hear how all of these shreds are synchronized. So let's listen and add it. So all of those um, shreds are synchronized. And uh, one last example for Chuck Designer is to generate MIDI. So in this one, we are going to, I'll just hit compile to, to show it working first. So now it's uh, compiled and I'll hit, I'll increase the rhythm. And we have uh, the sample rate is actually 60 <laughs> samples per second rather than audio rate of 44,100. It doesn't take any channels in, it has 16 channels out. And so these kind of correspond to MIDI notes that we might want to send to some other source. Um, and the rhythm is a global parameter here determined by uh, Touch Designer, and it's being sent to null global float. And here we have global float rhythm de declared. So now as I increase the rhythm parameter, we're actually getting a more dense uh, MIDI information uh, that can be used by some other uh, process, such as a VST, which is supported in, in the new Touch Designer Experimental build, or maybe in TD Faust. And so that's what I'm going to jump to next. So here, this is my MIDI generator example. So I'm going to copy this, and now I'm going to go to my uh, TD Faust project, and, and I'll paste it in here. We have the piano example, and in order to use the piano example, you have to run uh, a script in here, download bit clavier, uh, because that's going to download the piano uh, samples that are used. And that's in the project directory of TD Faust. So the third input is the MIDI buffer for TD Faust. So let's connect those together. Uh, on the Faust piano example, I'm going to hit compile. And so now it's compiled. And now on the MIDI generator, this is the Chuck designer thing. Let's hit uh, compile on it. And now nothing is running, but if I take my rhythm parameter and increase it, we're going to hear a melody and I'm going to make it more dense. And if you can name what example of music that is, I will be very happy. Please leave a comment for that. And now, just as an extra bonus, I'm going to walk through some of the uh, newest improvements to TD Faust. So in TD Faust, uh, we have many examples. So let's listen to the synthesizer. And uh, we also have a UI container over here. So synthesizer with some parameters. So that's the that's changing the attack and I can lower the sustain or increase the release. And um, it has polyphony so we can determine the number of voices and it has lots of uh, parameters. Uh, this is for selecting uh, uh, the, a directory of where you'd want to load wave files. And this is Faust Libraries path. That's where you would want to put your custom uh, library. So if you wanted to have reusable Faust code, you could, rather than doing uh, import standard faust.lib, you could do import my library, and my thing.lib, and it would find it in the assets Faust Libraries folder. Uh, I showed the piano example already. Now let's listen to Faust Wave Sampler. So this is a playback of, of a WAV file. I'll hit compile. And the interesting thing here is that, um, let's see, I think 
think I have to run a script. I have to reset this. So this is an example that shows how you can place, you can kind of create objects that correspond to sounds. So each, each of these things is a note, and it would actually work with uh, polyphony too. So I'll hit uh, reset on that. I'll go to the reverb example, hit compile on this, and now set the UI. Here's my UI. This is the dry signal. This is the wet signal. I can change the room size. Reset on that. And MIDI hardware, if you want to use a hardware device like a keyboard or a controller, pitch shifter. And the ping pong delay. Uh, let's uh, compile this and set up UI. And uh, do it again. So those are some of the examples that come with uh, T Faust, and I hope that you give that project a try too. So thanks for watching this uh, walkthrough of Chuck Designer with an added bonus of the updates to TD Faust. Thanks. Bye bye.